Hey everyone, Kami here with another quick tutorial and this time I'd like to show you how I put together this cool effect of social media icons popping up from inside my phone. It's a really simple trick that you can achieve with a few tools inside of Cine Studio and Design Studio. So I started from organizing a few of my social media icons on my phone just like this. Then I filmed a nice smooth panning shot of my phone on the table with my app screen open. So in Final Cut Pro, I got my footage. That looks great. And let's start from dropping in a couple social media icons that I'm gonna use for this. Let's go into M Extension and M Elements. Lucky for me, Design Studio has a whole bunch of elements designed specifically for social media. Even better, social media icons are 3D elements. So I'm gonna pick Instagram, of course. Maybe Snapchat, cause it's nice and colorful. And let's also drop in TikTok. Let's drag it on top of my footage. We're gonna start from Instagram, so I'm gonna switch the other ones off. So we see the icon nicely popping up. It's a cool animation, but it's not tracking within my shot yet. Fortunately, these elements are trackable as part of Design Studio. So I click on the trackable option, and I'm gonna use this big bright Snapchat icon for tracking. Let's click the rotation option on this one. So we quickly track it. And now the icon tracks with my shot, that was easy. Now let's get into the fun part. I wanna have this effect of the icon on the phone opening like a gate with an empty hole inside. Let's pick a point where that's going to happen. I'm gonna mark this by using the blade tool in this spot. And let's mark where it's gonna end. I'm gonna go to the first frame of this bit and export a still frame of this in a Photoshop format. Now specifically for this bit of footage, let's drop an M tracker surface. I'm gonna mark a couple of spots on the screen of the phone and let's use the mesh tracker for this. So we got all of this tracking. In Photoshop, let's just select the Instagram icon. Let's create a new layer through copy. We can see it's separated from the background. Now I'm gonna copy this layer. Let's call it IG icon hole and make this layer completely black. I'm gonna scale it and clean it up a little bit. Basically you want the size of it to be exactly like your original icon. We gotta make sure that the top layer covers the black hole. It doesn't need to be perfect. The opening gate is gonna do the job to cover up imperfections. And it's also gonna be pretty quick. Now that that's done, let's split our icon into two halves of the gate and create new icons with that. Now I'm gonna export all of this stuff into PNGs on a transparent background. Now back in Final Cut Pro, I imported my PNGs and created a compound clip. I drop all of these layers, one on top of the other in the compound clip, and I got my icon here. Underneath it, there's that hole. Now I'm gonna go back to my track shot and drop the compound clip here. I put this compound clip into the drop zone. I set it to full screen and it's in there. Barely visible, but it's there. Now let's go back into the compound clip and set the keyframes for the icon to open like a gate. That's pretty basic, beginning and end. You know how to create the motion. Now let's take a look. Awesome but the Instagram icon is still not coming out from this hole. Now here, it's just a simple visual trick. The icon is already growing as it appears in the transition. So it's simply a matter of positioning it and keyframing to appear like it's coming out of the hole. Right about here, and that looks great. It's an illusion of this icon coming from the hole. Now once that's done, I'm going to compound clip this Instagram icon and I'm gonna add some blur to it. Specifically the focus blur. That's gonna give us an illusion of a depth of field. You can play around with the settings here. It all depends on your shot, whatever looks coolest. I'm also gonna copy this layer to create a fake reflection inside of the phone. As you can see, I have all the other reflections so the icon is gonna need its own as well. That's just a simple matter of scaling, changing the blending mode to something like lighten mode and dropping the opacity. 
As always, you can be the judge of what looks best for you. Once you position your reflection, if it's sticking outside the phone, you can simply create a mask along the edge here. After a bit of playing around and including all my other icons, we have something like this. But I think what I want at the end is this cool dramatic zoom. So I'm going to create a compound clip of all of this. I'm going to go back to M extension again. Let's go for our camera movements. And I'm going to pick this custom zoom camera. Now here we can adjust all the parameters, play with the depth of field of the zoom. And let's take a look. Now that looks amazing. If you want to see more tutorials like this, comment down below. Let us know what you'd like to see next. Follow Motion VFX on social media and I'll see you next time.